Thank you all for coming. I know a lot of you guys have been to some of my shows over the last few years, and I really want to thank Jay. This place is incredible. I know all you guys have been coming up to me saying how cool it is to be in the village in Manhattan and uh, walk into this incredible baseball place and all the, the wonderful stuff in here. My name is Jay Goldberg, and I'm the owner of the Virgino Baseball Clubhouse. The store has been here for about a year. We were doing the handmade gift baseballs for 10 years, and then last summer we opened this shop in Greenwich Village. And it's a very unique baseball-related shop, vintage items, one-of-a-kind, handmade gift baseballs, and beautiful art. And uh, tonight, it has more beautiful art than ever. When I first had the idea to open the shop and turn part of it into a gallery, I, James was always on my uh, hit list of guys that I wanted to meet. And uh, because I've always admired his work, I never knew him. I met him out in uh, Jersey, and we decided to put uh, a show together uh, that also would benefit the Michael J. Fox Foundation. So we're doing this for a month. And uh, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. He's a, he's a mensch. It means so much to me to see all you guys here. I mean, it's, I mean that's the best, to have all this support. And, and a lot of you guys coming all the way out here to New York City. We've had a lot of people coming in here over the last couple of hours. It's a wonderful show that will be up for a month here. It's about October 15th. We're donating some of the proceeds to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. I'm, uh, I'm honored to be here. I'm uh, representing myself, but I'm also representing the Michael J. Fox Foundation. We are going to have a couple of people from the Fox Foundation here. Unfortunately, I spoke to Tracy Pollan, and uh, Mike won't be able to make it tonight. He may show up, but I, uh, I'd say there's about a 10% chance he'll show tonight, but I doubt it. But we're happy to be here anyway. about 11 years ago through a co-worker of mine who grew up with him and uh, coached him in baseball a little bit. I think he's a neighbor, a guy by the name of Dave Keogh, a real good guy. And um, ever since I met James, I've, I've just been in wonder and awe of his awesome art and his, his natural ability of, of drawing and just creating beautiful pieces of art. I saw a lot of his work on um, the baseball card series with Upper Deck and Tops. And just have been, and he's such a, a sweet person as well. He's just a talented person. So I feel very fortunate to have him as a friend, and uh, he's definitely made my life better. And he's always doing great things for great causes, and I'm very lucky to be involved with him. Uh, James is a friend of mine through uh, my one of my best buddies, Fred Cambria, uh, who's a former uh, pitcher with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And James is a brilliant yet humble uh, sports artist. So uh, we've been friends for a few years, and James plays in my uh, softball game for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. I met James on the golf course. Uh, fortunately, uh, we play golf together, and uh, we've been friends for the last 15 years, and uh, it's been a great experience. It just reminds me of uh, a good time in baseball, um, great feelings of, of you know, how it used to be in the old days. I know baseball's changed. You know, over the years, and you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of negative press, I guess, here and there. But it brings you back to a simpler time, and, and I love the way he captures the players and, and the times that they played it. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not an art master, but the one thing I, I was blown away by is that these were watercolors. I just, uh, I find it hard to believe that his level of talent. And I've even had some great artists come in here. Like sit there and get an inch away from the art, baffled that these are, are watercolors. And I, he's, he's just James has a rare talent that he's a, he's a talented artist, but he's also a very smart businessman, and it's a very rare combination. And 
on top of it, he's a terrific guy. So that's a very rare kind of triple threat. And when that happens, it, 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 you die to work with those two. And I, I, it's an honor to work with James. He's one of the few artists that get, gets Babe's features perfect. Um, a lot of artists have trouble with Babe because he has such an iconic face that if you're off a line, just a simple line of the eye or the lips, or they always give him a big nose, that it ruins Babe and it doesn't look anything like anybody. James has got all the, it's all in perspective and Babe, he, Babe actually walks and talks to me in his art. He does a good, good job. Being a baseball junkie all my life and seeing these Bob Fellers and Tom Sievers and Yogi Berra's, this is what the game is all about. And the great thing about James, he captures the moment and uh, he makes it so real. Uh, knowing some of these guys, it's a fantastic uh, exhibition that he has here tonight. Uh, James just somehow is able to capture uh, people's hearts as well as their minds with the uh, creates a product. He's, uh, he's unbelievable. I'm so delighted to, uh, to be a part of this today. Well, the Cake Boss uh, cake uh, from Carlos Bakery is absolutely amazing. All the figures actually look, babe, they got Babe to look like Babe in Marzipan, which is fascinating to me. And James looks like he's going to paint. It's incredible what they can do. And it's all sugar. It's amazing. I'll be honest with you, I can't wait to grab a piece of that cake. The cake is amazing. It's beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to try a piece. <laughs> We're going to cut the cake soon, which to me is the coolest thing, which was done by the cake boss, Carlos Bakery. Well, I just want to congratulate James. Number one, uh, being a professional in his business and well respected. And second of all, what a gentleman and uh, the artwork that he produces and for the baseball community is just terrific. And I wish him well, uh, whatever he does. James, glad to be here today. Uh, so proud to be here today. Your artwork is incredible. Uh, the cake is incredible. Thank you so much for having us here today with you. And we just want to wish you good luck at uh, Hopefully we're around to see you do a lot more paintings and your work is incredible. Best of luck to you. Uh, James, thanks for being a friend and uh, thanks for just creating something unique, something that uh, people want, are willing to pay for, and uh, thanks for just being so humble. God bless you. Uh, the only message for James this evening, I would say, is I, I wish you only the best this evening and going forward. Uh, you have a beautiful family as well. And the, my only request is to leave me one little slice of the Cake Boss cake. Other than that, do whatever you want. And I just wish James and Jessica um, great, great success. He already has success now, but you know what? He's earned it. He's a good guy. He's very generous. He gives to charity. He shares his artwork, and his artwork, like my grandfather, brings people together, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's that's wonderful. So he's going to be a great success. He already is, but it's going to continue because he's, he's, he's just a nice guy. Uh, I love you, James. All the best. Keep up the good work, and uh, much success.